Wow, we have a lot to talk about today. The Rangers just made a huge trade and Marcelo Duna re-signed with the Atlanta Braves. So let's jump straight into the video. So like I said, the Rangers made a huge trade. They are acquiring Chris Davis of the Oakland A's in exchange for Elvis Andrews. I like this trade a lot because Chris Davis is a very good DH. I think he's one of the best DHs in the entire league because he hits home runs and he drives in RBIs. Now, 2020 wasn't a good year for him, and he only played about half the season. In 85 at-bats, he had 17 hits, 2 home runs, a 200 batting average, 10 RBIs, and an OPS of 632. Not good numbers. But 2018 was a different story where he had a, break, he had a phenomenal year. He had 48 um, home runs, 123 RBIs, and an OPS of 874. Those are very, very good numbers. Oh yeah, and it was only in 576 at bats. He hit 41. I mean, 48 home runs the year before that. He had 43. The year before that, he had 42, and he hit over about 100 RBIs all those years. So his batting average is around 290. He won't. He's not just gonna get on base or anything. But he is going to drive in runs. He's he's going to hit over 100 RBS. He's going to hit 35, 40 home runs a year. Now, 2020 wasn't the best year for him. Neither was 2019. He started to decline a little. He only had 23 home runs. So if he can go back to his form from like 2018, 2017, the Rangers would have a very, very good designated hitter in Chris Davis. They would You would see a lot more home runs in Rangers ballpark. Now, Elvis Andrews, a two-time All-Star shortstop, he's good too, but he's not as good as like, like Francisco Lindor, Trevor Story. He's not like that. He's a he's probably maybe number eleven. He's kind of on the outskirts of the top ten shortstops. In 183 at bats, he had 20 hits, three home runs, a 194 batting average, seven RBIs, an OPS of 582, and an OPS plus of 58. So he was 58 percent worse than the average hitter. He didn't hit many home runs. His batting average was low. He didn't hit. He didn't really hit well. But he only played. He only had 183 at bats. The year before that, numbers about. I mean, triple. Like he had 12 home runs, 72 RBIs. So yeah, he's decent offensively. He's kind of middle of the pack. But defensively, he's also kind of middle of the pack. But he's a lot better defensively than offensively. So I don't really know. I don't know. I can't remember who the A shortstop is. But I don't know if Elvis Andrews will be the starting shortstop or if he'll split time with whoever their shortstop is right now. Oh, I just remembered. Marcus Simeon was their shortstop, and he got traded to the Blue Jays. So this, I actually think this trade is a little bit more better for the A's because now they do have a shortstop. So yeah, Chris Davis went to the Rangers in exchange for Elvis Andrews. And some other news, Marcelo Zuna re-signed with the Atlanta Braves. He signed a four-year, $64 million deal. This will give him an AAV of $16 million. If you don't know what AAV is, it's pretty much just average salary, so he'll have an average salary of $16 million, or in other words, an AAV of $16 million. This includes a $1 million buyout and a fifth-year club option for $16 million. So in total, he's guaranteed at least $65 million. Now, he had a phenomenal year in 2020. He had in 228 at-bats, he had 77 hits, 18 home runs, a 338 batting average, 56 RBIs, and an OPS above 1,000 at 1,067. That is very, very, very good. And he's only 30 years old, so this contract will bring him to either his 34 or 35-year-old season. He's also won a gold glove. He's pretty good defensively. He know, He's known for, a can, for his cannon of an arm. He can throw very far and very fast, so... You have a very good outfielder who can throw very well. And you, I just read you with stats. You can see that he is very good. And that was only in 60 games, and he hit 18 home runs. So, yeah. And I like this contract, too, because when he goes into like his 34, 35-year-old season, if his club option is accepted, he'll be a good designated hitter because at that point, his defense might start to decline a little. And then... I don't see him uh, offensively declining. So you have a very, very good DH. So yeah, now 
The Braves are going to have a stacked outfield with Ronald Acuna Jr. We already know one of the best outfielders in the entire league, one of the best players in the entire league. Austin Riley, a nice young stud coming up from the minor leagues, has a lot of potential. And then Marcel Ozuna, like I said, I already read you his stats. You can see he is a phenomenal outfielder. So quick little overview. Chris Davis is going to the A's in exchange for Elvis Andrews, and Marcel Ozuna re-signed with the Atlanta Braves for a four-year, $64 million contract. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video, remember to leave a like. It shows your support. Also, sub subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 50 subs, and we can't get to 50 subs without you subscribing, so hit that subscribe button. Also, turn on notifications so you don't miss any big signings or trades. I hope you have a good day or a good night, wherever you are. And I'll see you in another video, and until then, peace out.